Your money mindset has a dramatic impact on the way that you handle your finances. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about five ways, give you five tips as how you can improve your money mindset so you can make better decisions in terms of saving, how you spend your money and how you improve and supercharge your personal finances. Hi folks, welcome to another weekly episode of I Hate Numbers. My name is Samud, I'm an accountant, educator and mentor who's got a mission to improve your financial awareness, improve your money mindset, help you and your business make more profit, save tax and save time. What a fantastic combination we have there. Without further ado, let's crack on. Five ways to change your money mindset include confronting your fears. Those fears can hold you back. Setting goals, and we're talking smart goals here. Your crowd, the people that you hang around with, your community, your tribe. Having a sense of gratitude and saying true to yourself. Let's dive into that a bit more, folks. Now, confronting your fears. We all have fears when it comes to money. Ignoring them does not help us, though. Instead, we need to sit with them. We need to be comfortable with them. We need to acknowledge we have those fears, and we need to move forward. When you recognise your fears, you can actually push through. If you let fear run your life, if you let fear dictate how you see the world, how you react with the world and how you deal with your finances, then you're on a very sticky wicket. Be conscious that you're not, maybe not very good with money at the moment and walk towards improving that. Set goals. You can't achieve goals in your life if you don't actually set any. And when we talk about setting goals, make sure those goals are smart. Make sure they're specific. So I wish I am going to save X amount of money. I'm going to be spending on this. Do not make them wishy-washy. Make sure they're measurable. Make sure they're acceptable by you and anybody else involved in the process. Make sure they're realistic and make sure they're timely. You can't budget or save if you don't know why you're budgeting, what you're saving for. Comparisons. We all are guilty of this on occasions. We compare ourselves to our neighbors, our business colleagues, people in our network, we look at people on social media and we think they have a degree of success. But remember, folks, you don't know what goes behind that facade. So that your neighbor who's got that very spanking brand new car, that shiny new BMW, you don't know if they've got themselves into debt. You don't know if they're hiring a car. You don't know what's going on here. So do not compare yourself with others. Do not do the must keep up with the Joneses. Focus on yourself, what's good for you, what's good for your family and what's good for your business partners. Be grateful. Having a sense of gratitude and the achievements that you do actually make in your life is a really powerful motivator and a way to progress yourself forward and to handle your finances with a much stronger level of conviction. We're all programmed to think of the negatives in life, the things that we cannot do, the things we haven't achieved, and we don't focus as much as we should on the things that we do achieve. I myself have been in debt. I am no longer uh, in that situation here, but I remember being mired in a pool of debt in the early stages of my business cycle with student debt, uh, with debt that I had sort of hanging over me. And it's very really difficult to think there's no path forward here. Chipping away, look at those little micro steps that you make by reducing debt, even if it's by a few pounds or a few dollars, is a remarkable step forward. You might think you're not really achieving anything, but look at yourself and be grateful for the things that you actually do. Focus more on the positives and the negatives and you will power yourself forward with your finances. Stay true. Remember the reason why you're making money in the first place, why you need money, what the money is there to serve. It's there to serve your why. Make sure that in your circle, your tribe, the people that you surround yourself with, that they have a positive attitude. I'm not saying your life has to be just populated by people who are really positive, even though that's a really good thing to have. But those people who might be negative, looking at the downside of things, that negative scarcity mindset can spill over and drag you down as well. So you need to stay true to your own path and stay as you. Folks, I hope there was something in there that you could draw from. For me, it's about tapping into those five money mindset tips to help power you and improve your finances there as well. So until next week, tap into those five ways to improve your money mindset and happy mindsetting.